I'm 95, and um, as long as I'm on this side of the grass, I want to keep trying to spread the word to let us play our baseball. All I ever knew was baseball. My mother loved to play. My father loved to play. Baseball was our life. I grew up in California. All we had was cornfields, bean fields. In fact, I can remember when we made our own baseball field because there wasn't any baseball fields for it to play in. So my brother would get in the old Model T Ford, put a box spring mattress on it, and I would sit on the back of it. I was the anchor so we could drag the field. There was nothing like it. So the Bob Fillers and Joe DiMaggio's, the Hank Greenbergs, they all had to go and join the uh, service. I was out playing uh, softball in a league, and the scout came out and says, Hey, Maybell, how would you like to play professional baseball? Said, Are you out of your mind? There's no professional baseball for women. Yes, there is. I introduced the scout to my mother. He says, well, Mrs. Blair, don't you understand? We're going to pay her $55 a week. My mother looked at my father and says, George, you go crank up the car and I'm going to pack her suitcase and she's on the next train. Going into the locker room, and there my dress was. I put on my cleats. Then I went out, and I started walking, and I heard that beautiful music, clickety-clack, clickety-clack, off to the field. And I says, Maybell, you're a professional baseball player. And that was the most wonderful feeling I have ever had in my life. When the League of Their Own came out, um, it was absolutely wonderful. Before that, nobody ever realized that we ever played baseball. It helped open up Title IX. It uh, gave women a chance to show that we do have abilities other stay at home and having babies. I was in the closet for 95 years, and it was time for me to come out and let the world know that I was gay. I could feel the blood rushing from my head clear down to my toes, and then I thought, oh, Mabel, what did you do? What's your family going to say? Oh, my God, are they going to disown you? I said to myself, Mabel, here's your opportunity to tell people and the little girls and little boys, it's okay to be gay, to be yourself, to be able to live your life. And don't go through the struggles that I had. And the phone started ringing, and it was my family. And I it just broke my heart, you know, that uh, they said, Aunt Mabel, we realize, you know, you got to live your life and we love you for what you are and not your sexuality. I want to inspire everybody. If everybody were themselves, there's no telling how high they could go. 